Let's listen to the answering machine. Message. One. I have quite a few large branches that I need to cut up. So I was looking for a replacement for my little Firestorm model Black & Decker saw. I went a couple of places looking for the saw that I'm looking for or maybe another one that's similar. I couldn't find anything and I even stopped at Walmart and I don't like going to Walmart. It's not any cheaper. It really isn't. And I parked next to this car. I didn't notice it until I got out of my car. This couple is sleeping in their car. At least they were looked like they were dead, but maybe they were sleeping. The seats were all the way reclined back. He was skinny, scraggly, had this scraggly goatee and sunglasses on and a hat and a Ted tie-dye shirt. And she was great, big, fat, looked like the Michelin tire baby with tattoos all over herself. And they... We were like laying there and I went in the store and by the time I came back out it was still the same. They're still there. <laughs> the most god-awful noise that I guess they call music. It was some kind of rap or hip-hop. I don't know what it was but it was horrible. And uh, so I, <laughs> as I got in the car and I was closing the door I said man I don't know if you're just sleeping or you're dead but that that is awful crap you got playing there. <laughs> and I drove off. <laughs> it has a part that that came off of it. And if you're very, very careful, you can saw a little bit before the blade falls off. <laughs> but I thought, well, maybe I'll get a replacement part or a replacement saw. I looked online and it said they had them at this particular hardware store. No, they don't have them. They don't have them at Walmart. They don't have them at Kmart. They don't have them. I looked everywhere. I looked Harbor Freight. They didn't have one I was looking for. Walmart, which I don't like going there, but they didn't have it. So I was really disappointed. So I get back home and I'm looking online. It says mm, parts look up by model number and here's how to find the model number. So I thought, okay, I'll go down to the basement where I thought that I put the saw and I'll look at the model number and this is what I found I don't know if you can tell but it's sopping wet absolutely sopping wet this sump pump here in the corner oh it's too dark to see it has a pump that comes on with a float when it gets too much water. Oh God. I'm gonna to have to bring the rug cleaner down here and sop up as much water as possible and put fans on. This is part of the things that Scott's supposed to help me with down here and it's wet. Ugh. Rice, peas, and tuna burgers. And yes, the cat has already had some. So I have a whole lot of work ahead of me. I got to do this as soon as possible to try to get it to start to dry as soon as possible because in a day and a half Scott comes in. Tomorrow in the afternoon I have rehearsal. It's going to be... I'm going to have to look presentable and everything because they're taking some kind of publicity snapshots and the director wrote us a letter email today saying that we're all supposed to be wearing character shoes. I don't have any character shoes. Character shoes are like they they're like pumps with a little strap across the top. And a lot of people use those as tap shoes. I have a pair that are are tap shoes, but I don't even think I can fit in them anymore. So I don't know what I'll do there. It's always something, isn't it? I was going to wash the sheets, change the bed and all that, get everything, you know, I'm trying to, you know, a little bit at a time, get this place at least halfway presentable. 
and everything is just falling in like an avalanche. This morning when I was making, what did I make? Well, I made a sandwich for lunch and I took some feta cheese. It's a block of feta cheese and I was taking a knife to slice off some of it and it crumbles. But if you're careful you can slice off some. And apparently my hand slipped and the knife slipped and the crumbles went all over the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I did not need that. That, trying to find parts for the saw, I thought maybe I could saw up some of those branches in the backyard. Eventually I will. I can always use a hand saw, but it just takes longer. But I know that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing this inside stuff so that Scott can help me. You know, luckily, none of their stuff got soaked. It, their stuff's in plastic or on top of pallets or something that I have covered with plastic. There is a box of books and I think they're collectible books that I didn't quite get into another box on top of a pallet yet and it's gone. It's Mold City. Oh well, the only thing I can do now just keep on going upward and onward. Why did they always take it off the plate and put it on the floor? <laughs> 